All right, motherfuckers, we're back. And we, same recording session. Same recording session, yes, but this one is not quite a budget. You can tell we're a little bit more excited going yes, into this. Yes, because one. we have got an interesting cigarette here to review, and it's not so much budget, but uh, this is something interesting that we can't find everywhere. Fucking Winnie Jets. Winfield Jets, original blue. Didn't come in reds, but we'll give these ones a whirl. So, would you um, just want to read out the manufacturing data? Might I just add, if you don't know what a Winfield Jet is, let me just, uh, let's just use a Rothy as a fucking... Let's use the Rothy Red as... <clears throat> Hold that. I will gladly. They're a bit thinner. Oh, shit. I fucking can't see that. Jeez. Winnie Jet's on the top. Rothy's down the bottom. So, as Callum noted, it's a bit like a rolly sized Probably um, a probably a slim-sized rolly filter. Yeah, like a rolly sized tailor. Cigarette. And obviously, because you've got the smaller filter, it's going to be letting through, you know, less air. A bit air. more concentrated. A bit more concentrated. They do have perforations, but these are easily covered in these, hence being a bit stronger. So, I reckon we get into this. So, code on these is VP202. And as we noted in that episode about the, I don't know, filter sort of cardboard, papery stuff on this being very profound on the horizons. You're not going to be able to see very well on this because the lighting's shit and we're recording in nearly night time. But it's a lot less profound and you can't sort of notice it as you roll your fingers around. And these the do have a relatively firm filter. Yeah, they do. It's quite nice. And I'm just trying to... They have a tiny row of perforations, but they are extremely hard to see. So without further ado, spark up, good sir. These have been packed. So I'm just rolling around in here... It hasn't particularly been packed. Oh, what was the price on those? Winnie Jets. Uh, it would have been about 30, mid-30s, probably. Uh, low 30s. Low it's, 30s. it's a 23-pack, keep in mind. Uh, I think it was about... Yeah, low to mid-30s. Yeah, so for 23s, that's all right, but you've got to consider getting less tobacco in them because they're smaller. Uh, these were open at the same time, pretty much, as the Horizons. Not Horizons, Holidays. Oh, fuck me, I've done it again. <laughs> so, hence, they are a bit dry, but hopefully, being a better smoke, they will burn better. And, and... might I add, I quite enjoy these. Yes. Like, I've already had a few of these, Callum's had a few of these, and, yeah, they're really quite enjoyable. Like, I, I do like my Winfield tobacco, particularly the rolling tobacco, as we all know. Um, the Taylor Winnie Reds, they just don't quite do it for don't me. Don't cut it for you? There's just... Something, I don't know what it I'll is. I'll admit it, like, the Winnie Red um, tailors, they're a lot harsher than Winfield Red. It's, um, it's yeah, Rollies. The Rollies are much nicer tobacco, in my opinion, but it almost feels like, with the Winnie Reds, a bit like the holidays, like they sort of burn going down and burn coming up. Nah. Like, I find that, but obviously it depends what kind of batch you get, whether it's a bit older or whether it's younger, but... Anyway, let's let's quit that rant. Let's get into windy. Here comes that wind again. Yep. A oh, windy yeah. winnie. Let's go. Mm. Immediately, your classic Winfield taste, quite nice and sweet. That's that's something you always notice when you spark up a Winfield. It's always quite nice mm. and sweet. And even though these are relatively old, like they've been open for about oh, a week and a bit. They're seamless. seamless. Exactly. No difference. So that really goes to show the difference between, you know, sort of root, stemmy kind of tobacco. Compared to tobacco, that's actually got leaf in it. Yeah. What you're supposed to be smoking, not not any of this root shit. Um, right, so off the bat, mate, any initial observations from you? Nice and smooth. Um, one thing I have noticed, like, when it's not windy and when there's a lot of light, these they got off fucking, fucking body. Lot of body. They got fucking body. Yeah, because we, we were sitting in the car in between fishing up at Noosa and we were just charging some of these. It was a warm day, but fuck me, there was a bit of... There was some body in the car. Like, it was just pluming up near the windscreen. It was just nice and thick. And it's what you want to see from a cigarette, isn't it? None yeah. of this bloody weak, bloody holiday shit. You still dwelling on that? Oh, mate, you still got two to smoke as well. Ah, oh, fuck! Don't remind me. Right, so do you want that'll to... be my um. Probably you. No, that'll be my make it to payday dart. <laughs> get to payday. Uh death drag. You shouldn't be dreading this one as much. No, I don't dread this one at all. No pussy footing about. I'm diving into the. 
diving into the belly of the beast. That's what I like to see. The burn is a bit wacky on that, but that's understandable because of the wind. Oh, that's a death drag, all right. And that is penciled. And look at look at the cherry on that. Look at the cherry on that. It's still going. This is what we like to see here in Aussie Cigarette Review. Yeah, Next okay, to nothing. That, 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 that was nothing. I, was, I saw it out of your mouth. There was nothing there. How do you feel after that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, that's nothing like a death drag to, uh, I don't know, wake up your senses, is there? Right, well, I'm going to go ahead and do a body on this. As, as I've said before, the windows are down. It's a bit windy. And it's not. Don't expect too much, but take our word. These have got good body on them. Um, I wonder. I, I just wonder. You just wonder. What the just, fuck is that? Two flies fucking on my some, roof. <laughs> oh, we got some luxuries. Some copulation place. on the roof. Yeah, right. So I'm going to go into my uh, body test now. Um, hopefully the burn stays relatively normal, but with the wind, I doubt it. Anyway, without further ado. Balls to the wall. Yep. Soapy. Indeed. Soapy, 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 and it tasted good. There was a little bit of bite on the end of it, which you're going to expect from the smaller filter. Uh, but other than that, that, you know, you saw that. It was soapy. It just sort of fell out of my mouth. It didn't fly out. It sort of drooped down. And Can you shut the fuck cascaded up? Cascaded out shut of Shut up. My, cascaded out of my mouth. There's a knife in here somewhere. And I will still, not hesitate I know, to cut I've, you. I've still got that nice, sweet Winfield taste in my mouth, which I can... Really appreciate after smoking some of those horrible holidays, but I thought you were going to say Horizons there for a second. No, I was close to it, but I, I but I stopped myself. <laughs> and cut you. <laughs> okay, so the burn on these is nice and consistent. The cherry is quite large, um, and the ash on this is a bit of a darker colour because you know obviously it's better grade tobacco. So you will notice them if you're as finicky about your cigarettes as I am. Um, shit, you've almost finished yours. Yeah, I, ah, I just knocked a rothy somewhere. Oh, it's in my tip pocket. <laughs> That's all right. Um, and that sneaky uh, yeah, the burn, the burn is quite nice. There is some tar stains going down, obviously. Well, you um, think you got tar stains, mate? Oh shit, yeah. Anyway, well, I might even pick apart the filter on this one. I'm yeah, I'm, good. I think that'd I'm be feeling a, good. I'm feeling good. It's amazing what a good cigarette can do for your for your moods, isn't it? Let's see what that's looking like. Come on, you bastard! I was honestly expecting these to be a bit harsher than they were because. Fuck! What, what are you doing? Goddamn. <laughs> Colossal sized fingers for a tiny filter. This is not a good idea. Oh, it is pretty small actually, eh? So the tobacco actually goes down a no, bit into the, into the filter. That's interesting. That's something you will notice with most cigarettes. Actually, you can see a line on this where it goes down to. Oh, so maybe. I don't know. Two mil down from the. From the original core, core oh, kind of style. Fuck it, I'm butchering this. There we go. There we are. Right, what's she look like? She look alright? Get in the fucking hole. Yeah, we had plenty of trouble with that. Ah, oh, shit. I just fucking shook ash all through my car. Doesn't matter. This car is an ashtray, so. Now, you are not going to be able to see that very well. At sort all. of. Uh, hey, fucking nah. grab that. Cunt's fucked. Oh god, you that's, like, that's even you worse. Like, you like how lighting here on Aussie Cigar Review is. That is my phone. It's quite budget, but you know, it's, it's what we do. It's easy. Go figure. Oh shit, you just dropped it. Did I? Yeah, it's just in there. No, oh, yeah, fuck. Home. Right, so we're nearing the end of this, mate. So, <coughs> taking in, take into the fact that it's a 23 pack, they're slightly smaller, so you're not getting as much cigarette for your money. So, also factoring into account their sort of low to mid 30s, how would you rate that on a scale of Brian's, mate? Look, I put the holidays at zero, so I'm going to put these at six out of five. I need to be serious here, man. Out of five, what would you class them as? Fuck, what did I give Marlboro's? Ten out of five? Yeah, but let's, let's be serious here, mate. Out of five. Ooh, I'd say about a... We rated Champion Ruby three and a half bronze out of five. 
<laughs> I'd go a solid four, maybe. Yeah, I can agree with you on that one. A solid, solid four, considering you are getting a bit less tobacco. Um, the price is getting up there a bit. But it is a 23-pack, so yeah, turn that shit off. Um, yeah, so that, that was quite a quite an interesting review. And you are going to notice the box is oh, shit, quite a bit smaller, but it is also taller. I'm quite sure. No, oh, same no, size. same size. It looks taller because it's thinner. Um, as, as we said, British American Tobacco manufacturing in Singapore. Another interesting topic I'd like to cover is... Um, okay. Oh, fuck, I'm saying... <laughs> oh, Christ. Another interesting topic I'd like to cover is on the topic of Peter Stuyvesant. So, there's... They do two variants of blues in Peter Stuyvesant. Stop. Um, so they've got the classic blue and the original blue. And I was reading on a forum somewhere that someone noticed that the original blues and the classic blues tasted different. And it came to my... I don't know, it came to my awareness... You had an epiphany. That the classic blues... You had are a made, fucking epiphany. I had a fucking epiphany. The classic blues are made I'm going to put my window up yeah, so good this idea. doesn't get a massive... Third attempt, classic blues are manufactured right. in New Zealand and the original blues are manufactured off in Asia somewhere. So, and uh, everyone's been saying, oh no, the, you know, the classic blues are way better than the, than the original blues. So that just sort of goes to show like the sort of different manufacturing standards that the different countries have. And The um, Kiwis do good shit. Kiwis do good shit. They also make good shit. But, <laughs> they also fuck good shit. <laughs> yeah. Christ, Sorry to any Kiwis. Bit of bestiality here on Aussie Cigar Review. We don't need that. But go figure. Yeah, right, yeah, the Kiwis guys. are. Yeah. Oh well. Go, go with them. Again, offending the New Zealand audience. Oh, if there are, we love you. Um, if you smoke, tiny little if you smoked Winnie Jets, sock of a neighbour. <laughs> sock of a neighbour. If you <laughs> sock. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you'd like the definition <laughs> of that, no, no. some other cunt's kid. So if you see a good-looking bird strolling down the street, it's got a kid. And your data, you said, oh, yeah, you know, I'm dating this chick, but she's got a sock. <laughs> that bang is some other cunt's kid. But uh, that's that's a bit rough. But anyway, Chuck's comment if you smoked Winnie, Winnie Jets, uh, I hate original to think blues. What Tasmania is. Yeah, well, me too. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let us know if you smoked and what you thought of it, and uh, if we're about on par. Tasmania's with our... like our fucking ingrown toenail there. Or an ingrown, ingrown hair, yeah, you know. They're there, and you just can't quite get rid of them, and they fucking hurt as well. So. There you go. Sorry, Tasmania. Sorry, New Zealand. But it's been a bit of a rip on you this episode. Anyway, we're going to write that up now before... Before we get some hate mail. Before we offend anyone else. Cheers, guys, for watching. We'll see you soon. Who else can I make fun of? I'm going to stop that now. (laughs)